Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our Jira Administrator Tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we are getting into our Jira Administrative Access and the very first thing we'll be doing is to creating a project because without the project and the sample data, you will not be able to customize things. So of course you need some dummy data or probably your real data as well in order to customize things to learn a lot of uh, concepts within the administrator panel. So we will be getting started shortly by creating a project, understanding the basic navigation that how exactly the Jira server is different from Jira cloud and what kind of other options you will get once you are an administrator. So you will have a quick and different access as compared to the previous tutorial what you had in Jira Cloud instance as a front end. But now being an administrator, you will have some more details to access. So let's get started and quickly understand all about the same. As a part of this tutorial, we will be creating a new project in our server instance. Then understanding that what are project templates which are available as a part of a Jira server instance and what exactly are the project details when you enter after creating the project and a quick navigation to different options. To begin with, the very first thing what we have to start with is creating a new project. And of course, when you remember the last tutorial, we have covered uh, the setting up the, of the Jira server. And this was the last page where we stopped. And now we will continue creating a new project and understanding that how, what exactly does it take to create a new project here in Jira server instance and how it is different from cloud. Now, you have three options at this point of time. If you want, you can see a project in action. For example, like you might have another project going on. If you have access to it as a user, you can look into that. Or there are some demo projects which are available as a part of this uh, Jira software instance, and you can have a look on that. Or you can definitely create a new project, which we will be working on right now, or import an existing project or issues from an uh, existing project, which you might have archived in last uh, past, and you can import them uh, to this project in order to uh, continue working on that. So as a part of this tutorial, we are getting into creating a new project. So just click on create new project, and you will be displayed with uh, some of the templates just like the cloud instance but it is slightly different from that now if you see here we have got a section called a software in which you have software uh, scrum software development process so what exactly does it contain and what we will be having you can just click on next by selecting this and uh, you can see that it displays here that issues types are these which you will find it as a part of this template and this is the workflow which you are going to follow anytime you can press back in order to have a quick look on what are the other templates and how it is different from each other similarly if i pick up kanban here and click on next i can see the issue types which i'll be getting and the workflow which i'll be following there so at any point of time if before creating a new project you at this window you can actually check out what are the different uh, project templates and what kind of variations you're going to have. And you can decide that which project best suits you before you can actually click and create the new project. So for our instance, we'll be creating a Scrum software development because it suits our requirements the most. But of course, uh, maybe later during the interval of time, I'll also create another project like task management, which is just limited. So let's create a Scrum software development project and uh, here as well you have the option to import a project create with shared configurations create sample data or you know just the same options which you saw earlier so click on next and uh, just click on select this time here and you will be asked for a project name uh, i'll just go with my uh, favorite name there <laughs> our channel name which will be easy to remember so my key will be tin if you want you can also customize the key here and just proceed with the same click on submit as soon as you submit, uh, this particular project will be set it up and created and the first look will be displayed to you. All right, so welcome to you. The first look of your project, which is just now created by us. And uh, we are having a final welcome page uh, once we have created the project. And we land up basically on the backlog 
which is uh, to understand that what exactly your tasks are and uh, you do know about the backlogs like product backlog and sprint backlog if you have not been known about that you can find the link on the i button to quickly go back and understand from the cloud uh, if you are a newcomer of course you can also look into agile tutorials to understand better now Backlogs uh, are actually empty right now for us because we have not created anything. So we will be creating some of the tasks and we will be going ahead with doing a lot of other activities when it comes to Jira Administrator. Now, of course, we are talking about the Jira Administrator here. So we need some information to control that. But of course, before that, you can have a look on the here panel here. We have, first of all, the boards in the project, which we will be talking about again. Uh, or if you want, you can definitely look into the Jira tutorials of Cloud Instance. I have discussed already there. And uh, this is the active sprint section. Whenever you create a new sprint, uh, you can see the progress on the task uh, happening here, moving from one particular column to another column and so on. And similarly, you have the releases. If you are managing all your projects and the releases, you'll find them here. Then you will have uh, other options like reports and issue management, component management, and so on. On the top, you would see the options like to create a dashboard and manage your dashboards. So uh, again, uh, products, what kind of projects do you already have? You can switch between your multiple projects we are, which you are having access to at any point of time. Issue management can be done from this menu and you can manage your boards uh, right here. So you can just click on the board and you will be taken back to the board option. And obviously you do have a create button which will allow you to create an issue at any point of time. Just click on the button here and uh, a new window will be displayed to you, a screen having set of options to fill in and create an issue type. As we are in the Scrum type of project, we have story, task, bug, and epic. But at any point of time, just remember one thing, you are not learning Jira software here. You are learning the Jira administrator. And to do that, you have a new button being added here. So if you are not an administrator, you will never see this cog wheel on the right top corner. If you are an administrator, you will see this option, which is called as administrator. Click on this and you will see all your Jira admin options. That is application, projects, issues, manage apps, user management, latest upgrade report, and system. So this version is completely latest uh, as on uh, December 25th, 2020. So you don't have to worry about if you're learning it even like soon after, you know, a few months of that. But if you are not an administrator for some reason, you don't have the access to administrator, you will never see this cog bill on the right. Okay, so this is Jira administrator. At the left bottom, the extreme left bottom here, you have an option called as project settings, which is also known as project administrator. So these are the two different things. Number one is the site administrator of Jira and second is project administrator. The project administrator is the project admin who has certain rights to control uh, some of the settings within the project part. For example, talking about the summary of the project details, uh, deleting a project uh, administrator has the rights to do that and managing the issue types. So which you have here, you can make uh, you know, a lot of settings related to that the workflow, screen, fields, priorities, and a lot many other things, including permissions, uh, securities, notifications, issue collectors, and all. And on the right, you see a lot of details about your project, that what kind of scheme my issue type is using, what type of scheme my workflow is using, and what type of scheme my screens and fields, and so on. There are so many things to explore, but everything seems to be quite new. Of course, you're looking at it for the first time, so don't worry. We'll be getting into each of these options, one after the other, and explaining you everything. Don't forget, the administrator can only see the details and request, but does not have any rights to control or change certain things here. So for example, if I just click on any of the schemes here, for example, the uh, you know issue types uh, scheme, let's see what exactly do we have here. And when I come here and click on the screen option, and uh, let's see what do I get. I'm here at the screen, so I, I do see that. I don't have any provisions to edit them, correct? I cannot customize the fields. I cannot modify. There is no edit button. I can only see the fields, and I can only see the workflow but I cannot customize it. Why? Because I'm still a project administrator. If I want to make changes and an administrator, that is Jira admin, then I have to follow this path to modify it. 
Well, I'm not going to get into much details, just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to create a new project at this point of time. What are the information involved? What are the details do you get as a part of the front end of the project when you work with Jira software? And this is the difference between the look and feel of the cloud and the server instance. And at the same time, introducing you to the project administrator settings and Jira administrator options. But yes, don't worry, as a part of this tutorial, we have not yet begun with our Jira tutorials, okay? Uh, the administration part. So administration part will begin right from the next tutorial, where I'll be starting with one of the other options from one of these menus. What do you see? We will be getting started one after the other in each one of them. So this is going to be lengthy and very informative. So stay tuned for that and I'll be definitely adding more values to understand, uh, help you understand everything in more detail. So don't worry about that. Just just get you know everything uh, understandable and try to practice at your end by installing the same. So with the practice, you will have better confidence and you will know how exactly to do it. Well, that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to respond to your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.